OEI is unbelievable. Empowering. Inspiring. Inspirational. Inspirational. Different. It's career changing. Life changing. OEI is life changing. Life changing. Life changing. Amazing. 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 Absolutely amazing. It's a week and a day every day. OEI is crazy. Motivating. Exhilarating. Unbelievable. It's so hard to like put it into words. OEI is engaging. Unforgettable. A game changer. Honestly, OEI is just fun. Epic. Encouraging. I'd say remarkable. Synergy. Sensational. I can't even imagine them getting three credits for this. You have to experience it. You have to be here to believe it. We've been to a whole lot of entrepreneurial events. Miami, San Diego, Chicago, New York, Seattle. This one surpassed them all already and I'm only into the second day. OEI has kind of opened up my eyes to the real successful side of entrepreneurship. I like the entrepreneurship aspect of business because you can pick what you want to do. I want to work in poverty reduction and international development. We're taking produce that's otherwise wasted in the United States and other developed countries, and then we dehydrate that into a product that is ready for consumers to eat. I'm working on the John Papa John Student Business Incubator at UNI, and I've built a digital marketing agency. I have a company called Swine Tech, prevent sows from crushing the piglets, and it's like the Fitbit for pigs. I'd like to open up a athletic training program slash facility that focuses on training athletes to either play college or make professional. I own a cleaning company in Iowa City. The next area we will be opening a location is in Okoboji. Since I'm a product design student, I'm constantly developing different designs and concepts. I started Optimal Organization by Emily. I'm a professional organizer for residential. I want to do financial consulting and advising for salon professionals. I really like marketing strategy, kind of figuring out how to take down the competition. We're starting a wedding in a box, the silk flower business. I have dreams of becoming a CPA. I'm in the account field. I have a small pool cleaning business that I do during the summers. Eventually I want to use my degree and get into politics. Me and another group of students were trying to create a water filter for rural Africa. In November I launched a website for an apparel company that stands for Christ is King of Kings, C-I-K-K, -K, SICK. I've been helping with different marketing and photo shoots for the wedding industry specifically. I know I eventually want to open my own business but I don't really know in what yet. I do know that I want to be my own boss someday. Both my parents are fairly successful in their own business. My dad owns his own business, and that's what kind of sparked my interest. I don't know where my life will take me, but I know I want to be my own business owner. I want to open my own business. I'm not for sure what. I'm definitely going to come out of here with something. Monday was the first full day of activities and networking and just kind of set the pace for the week and it felt like five days. Monday felt like an entire week on its own. Today we worked on the simulation in the morning and that is so much fun. We did a whole lot of virtual business development with our teams. Came up with a name, a marketing plan, built a couple products and figured out how we're going to advertise and position them in the market. It really proves to me how passionate I am about entrepreneurship, that I can work on this business that's not real and it's not gonna gain me anything at the end of the week, but I still wanna finish it and I still wanna make it the best it can be. In any entrepreneurial sense, you have to defeat your competitors, which is what we're doing for a prize, which is awesome. Then we had a pitch competition. Seven or eight of the 10 students we're actually earning money from their business ventures that they're working on currently, which is incredible. Completely different from what they can teach you in the classroom. It's so much more hands-on. It doesn't even seem like work, working on the marketplace simulation. It's really fun to do that. And then when we get to leave that and come here, it's amazing. Now we're here for the event tonight. We go around to different residents' house and they put on these awesome dinners for us. That first six hours felt like I was here for two weeks. I got to know so many people. This networking was just described to us as we have 300 people that are going to want to meet us. You're forced into learning how to network with some of the best people in Iowa, which is awesome. Day two of OEI has been incredible. We went to Arnold's Park after our normal simulation this morning. We got the afternoon to relax and spend a day on the lake. Going out on the boat and going to the amusement park. I've never been to Okoboji before, so it has been a wonderful experience. I always see boats like that, and I never thought I'd get to ride on one. You can go to a business conference anywhere. That's what kind of makes Okoboji unique, getting to be out on a lake, enjoying the sun. With the lake being here, it's literally like heaven in Iowa. I can't believe this is an opportunity to earn college credit and be on a boat all day almost. It's awesome. It's seriously like a vacation. We are doing work, but it doesn't feel like it at all because it's a vacation spot. It just feels like paradise. 
The simulation allows you to experience more of the real life aspect of what actually happens in business. Negotiating was the most realistic thing we've done with the simulation. We had to basically pitch our company to venture capitalists in order to get them to invest in our company. I'd never done anything like that before and yeah, they're intimidating people with the venture capitalists. I was probably the most nervous, even though I don't know why I was so nervous. It's amazing how quickly you can become comfortable crying in front of each other. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It went pretty it well. It went well. It went very fast. Yeah, I thought we were pretty prepared. We, I think we showed it. Gave us a couple of tough questions, but we were able to kind of hold our ground and show them that we knew what we were talking about for three days of work. We're all just as nervous as if we had our whole, you know, life savings on the line. We stressed. Yeah, we were stressed at the beginning, but I think once we walked out of that room, we were completely fine. It feels like real business. I mean, we're sitting there making deals this morning, face to face, and then we go walking away like, can we trust them? It's a competitor, but we're, yeah. we're trying to team up with them. Even though it is simulated, you physically are really doing it. It really affected me like it was my own business, so I think that was cool. The different problems that you face are real problems. These are experiences that occur when you do start your business. You learn most from failing. So to get those lessons about failure before you even have to do it is really awesome. These people that we're networking with look and sound kind of intimidating with their accomplishments on paper, but ultimately they're just people. They're just friendly, you know, just cool to see people that have been successful themselves but are willing to help others and just pour into us. It has seriously amazed me how humble these people are. They couldn't be more friendly. They're so much more down to earth than I thought. It's been eye-opening to see all the really successful entrepreneurs that have such strong roots in Iowa. Everyone's super experienced, super successful. You can talk to just about anyone or they'll come and talk to you. Obviously when it comes to businesses, you know, there's some sort of level of competition. But here, on the bottom of the totem pole, to those who are at the top, there's no barrier. It was all a team effort. People just genuinely care about your success and want to help you. Everyone has different ideas. Everyone knows something that you don't know. And you're learning from not only the people speaking to you, but the teammates that you're working with. A lot of times, the first few steps are the hardest ones to get going. And the people here are awesome about trying to help you get there. It has been absolutely amazing. I pinch myself every night. Something extraordinary happened every day. It's been spectacular, surreal. I had really no idea what I was getting myself into when I came here. I've never had a college type experience that I can even compare to this one, I would say. Once in a lifetime opportunity. It's definitely once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime opportunity that turns into a lifetime of opportunities. It's just crazy, so cool. It's been so cool. Fascinating and absolutely incredible. I don't think there's anything else like it. Since I've been here for a year in America, this is Honestly, probably being the highlight. I don't think I could sum it in a sentence. I can't quite put it into words. I couldn't have imagined a better week, better opportunities, better people, better place. From meeting the senator, to the governor, to Tom Bedell. Everyone talks about how it's the best experience of your life, but you don't really know that until you get here and experience for yourself. You need to drop what you're doing and come to this. It is definitely an opportunity that you don't want to miss out on. It will be a part of me for the rest of my life. You know, I've, these experiences are something that I will always remember. I just can't wait to one day call back on these people and be like, hey, I finally figured out what I want to do. And they're going to be right there to help me through it.